Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, we're drinking bourbon. All right, Ben. Bourbon time it is. Yes, it is, and it's a good one. It's BAM, Old Forester 1920. So I'm very excited about this. Well, so before you get into it, I have a question. <laughs> yes. So um, 1920, does that mean anything or is there just their marketing team just phoning it in at this point? I think it has something to do with a prohibition ah, sort of deal because okay. this is prohibition style. Ah. 115 proof, Old Forester. If you watch this channel with any regularity, you will know that I am the resident brown foreman truffle pig. Self-proclaimed. Self-anointed. <laughs> I figured you would, you would add that qualification. Yeah. And uh, I, on the other hand, just to close the loop on that, mm -hmm. I when we started the channel, I was probably pretty anti-Old Forester. Mm -hmm. I, flavor profile just didn't work for me. And over time, I've uh, come around to decide that um, I think Old Forester holds its own. Well, a brand can only win so many times in a blind before you have to just <laughs> well, admit exactly. that you, you like just, it. So I have a theory about that, and I know that we're going to get into a review, but I think this brand in particular does very well in blind flights. Yes, it does. Um, yep. it, maybe more so than just individual reviews, but speaking of individual reviews. Well, so let's, let's get into some history in this from our perspective, as we just kind of did with blinds and stuff yeah. like that. We've obviously had this one before, yep. but I find it crazy that we've had the channel for this long and we've actually never done a proper review of this. Really? Yeah, so this is the, the first time. It's been in flights though, so it's mm -hmm. not like it's not been, had an appearance in it. We both know that it's great, so. Really dark on the nose, molasses nice vanilla. Did I just spoil vanilla. the review that we're about to do? Yeah, pretty yeah. much, but that's okay. <laughs> if they've seen the channel, they, they know we love it. Yeah, it's just a, it's got that quintessential, it's a banana. A little bit. I was banana bread, it. It buttered took, banana bread. It took a little bit, but I finally got it. Yeah, just standard old Forester on the nose. Let's see what happens on the palate. Cheers. That is, I'm prepared to say this is absolutely one of the best, if not in my humble opinion, the best readily available shelf bottle for the 60 to 65 dollar range okay for me when i say the best because i'm a huge old forester fan i love that profile yeah i would say one of the best we talk about you know bottles like rare breed well, you're not creek single barrel it. and stuff like that like ones that we think just really like Mm -hmm. They're available everywhere for a reasonable price. This one is absolutely one of those. The, the only it is pushing, at least in some stores, it's it's pushing up that price a tad. It is. Some places are getting closer to seventy with it, but yeah. it should be around sixty to sixty-five dollars. Yeah. That's the only knock is because it's part of a line that is has some other bottles that are really sought after. This one does get overpriced a tad. But yeah, otherwise the whiskey's great. There's something like old and dusty about this as well. The flavors in this are really dark. Like this isn't a bright whiskey. Like it's dark molasses, dark the brown caramel, sugar. brown sugar, banana bread. And then it just kind of has like- A toffee kind of like- I can see that. Yeah. But it has like an old dusty, probably like Rick House mm -hmm. sort of vibe to it, which is interesting because they come from a heat cycled warehouse. Hmm. Um, Do you want to explain to people what that means? It's it basically they just they temperature control their warehouse oh. versus just having the elements where you get winter and summer. Yeah, I would imagine that probably helps the whiskey age a little quicker. Pushes it into the wood. Yeah, and then pulls it out of the woods. That's what she said. <laughs> so you have more cycling. Yeah, it doesn't seize up the the barrel quite as much in the winter. Yeah. Um, but that's not an artificial way to age your whiskey. It's just a different, yeah, you know. Right. Yep. But I'm such a big fan of. Old Forester in this one at 115 proof 
is amazing. Yep, totally agree. Um, we love the single barrel 100 proof and the single barrel barrel proof, and this is right kind of in the middle mm -hmm. of that. And I would say, if you are sleeping on this bottle just because, you know, you're into bourbon, but like when I first got into it for the longest time, there were certain bottles that were like super popular, readily available. And because of that, I took them for granted and just didn't bother to buy them because it's like, oh, well, I'll, I can get that anytime. I'm gonna buy something different this time. This one, if you've never had it for some odd reason, if you like the 115 proof point, 150% recommend, you know? What's too many recommends, Ben? You can only go <laughs> well, to 100%. You know how math works on the bourbon note. <laughs> If you've ever seen our blending videos. But yeah, this one just, I don't know, I feel like this one got talked about quite a lot a while ago, and then I feel like it's kind of not getting as much attention anymore. Well, no, just because, I mean, Old Forester has this line, and they have a number of bottles in them, mm -hmm. in the line. The line being the Whiskey Row. Series. Whiskey Row is what they're called, and so different, uh, different dates, mm -hmm. 1910, 1897, 1870, yep. uh, and then 1924 is the new one. Yep. Um, they do tend to be a tad expensive at times, but each one of them is very, very different. Yeah, it's like one's a double oak, this yeah. one is a bottled and bond, and there's like the original batch, yep. and then the 10-year age stated one. Yep. But yeah, I would explore the entire Old Forester line. I would love to do an actual just oh, whiskey flight. row flight, which yeah. I think we maybe did in a live stream one time a couple years ago, I'm not sure. Of the, the original four, but now that they had... Uh, yeah, well, good luck finding the 10-year. Yeah, yeah right. We'll see. But in the meantime, yes, if you have never had this, definitely do yourself a favor. Go grab a bottle of it. Old Forester 1920 on the Bourbon Note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Till next time. See you next time.